Good afternoon, YouTube. It is Monday, and Monday is always my fasting day. Um, I don't do it because I was bad over the weekend. It's just the day that I choose to fast all day. So it's a little after four o'clock. I'm starting to feel hungry, but for the most part, um, I have felt good all day. I've had water all day. Now, my husband tends to have bulletproof coffee to get him through the day, but he works more of a kind of a strenuous job as far as lifting and um, needs more energy. So he will have bulletproof coffee only, and then he eats his main meal um, at night. And he does OMAD, which is one meal a day. And I will say it's had, he's had great results. Like he is much leaner just in the last 45 days. I think he's done it for like a month and a half, but he's had some really good results doing that. And he only does it Monday through Thursday. He does not do one meal a day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you're curious, it's something to look into. There's actually more on YouTube about it than you would realize. Um, and he's keto OMAD, so he eats keto like we, I make him keto meals at night. Um, but the main purpose for this video, one is I haven't been back in a while. Um, I've seen that I've had views and I appreciate that. So if you like the content, please subscribe. And if you have comments, please leave your comments. Try to be nice if you can. And, um, but I wanted to get back with you because I remembered that I never really did a follow up on my egg allergy results and my blood work that I had done a couple a few weeks ago actually um, and so those results are back and not that I'm a, a crazy in body junkie but um, this is kind of over a span of two years but these are all my in bodies that I've done and basically an in body tells you your body mass index it's going to tell you your weight it's going to tell you how much water is in your um, that you have internally um, it, and then it gives you of course your breakdown of your muscle and um, and it's a great indicator to just kind of help you stay on track uh, the new machines out there are doing a visceral uh, fat check and I think mine was four they, you know, it wants you to be below 10 and mine was four. And basically the visceral fat, it says here that it's an indicator based on the estimated of fat surrounding your um, internal organs in the abdomen. And we all know that uh, your, a lot of your health issues and a lot of your belly fat um, indicator of either heart disease or heart attack or, um, uh, those indicators is pretty much you're you're gonna have you know you could have effects based on how much fat is around your stomach and your belly so find your local in body it's it's in your nutritional shops or um, where you buy your health food supplements such as pre-workout post-workout your nutrition bars um, your protein powders, but your places um, like NCG or NutriShop uh, have them and they're a great resource tool. They're free to go in and do an in-body. Um, you typically want to go in the morning and you want to wait. You go fasted so and, and after you've gone to the bathroom, that's where you're going to get the best results. Um, so I typically go in the morning fasted and, and like... Uh, uh, after a workout um, but I love the in body indicator just because it kind of keeps me on track I have fluctuated between when I started I was at 28% body fat and obviously the last year being on keto and being just making healthier food decisions I kind of fluctuate between 15 to 17 when I'm like really where I want to be um, I do know the last month I checked and I was 19% body fat so I was a little bit discouraged about that and I did some reflection back on what I had been eating the last three months and it was just holidays and birthdays and like celebrations and I instead of normally doing a carb refeed every 14 days I was doing it like every seven days which you're you're barely getting back into ketosis by the time you 
you know, do a carb refeed again if there's a celebration. And so I think that's kind of what I had decided um, as to where I've got a little bit of the, the weight gain. Um, I do find it interesting that my body fat percentage went up, my weight went up, but I still feel the same in my clothes. And so my clothes all still fit the same. Um, so that's kind of interesting to me. But uh, yes, with that said, I think the in-body is a great indicator to let you know, you know where you are. It helps you with your macros to know um, what, bat what macros you um, need to do. I am more on a modified keto, so I do higher carbs. I eat anywhere between 50 to 100 carbs um, per day in depending on what carbs I eat depends on if I have like a heavy lifting day or if I do, um, I'll do keep my carbs a little bit lower on uh, like high intensity training days. So that is that for the in body. Um, my blood work uh, came back good. We actually use a company called um, diagnosticlabs.com and since we started keto a year ago, my husband and I, we've put out $1,000, over $1,000 in blood work just to make sure that we're checking and everything has come back good. Obviously our cholesterol levels are higher and that's to be expected and that's um, pretty common with someone on keto. Um, but our ratio of triglycerides to HDL is 0.68, which is excellent. And um, I feel like I've watched enough videos and I've kind of educated myself enough just from different doctors and um, uh, just information and resources that are out there that talk about your cholesterol when you're on keto. So uh, the main part of the test that I was hoping to get back um, good results was the egg white and the egg yolk allergy test and that did not come back um, in my favor. I was supposed to be less than two on the scale and my number was 11. So I still have that egg allergy that I'm dealing with and it's very evident because I have issues when I have just even small amounts of, uh, of eggs. Um, I'm not I don't have to shoot myself with an EpiPen. I don't, I don't go into anaphylactic shock or anything, um, but I just feel a lot more heartburn and acid reflux and indigestion. And I just don't feel good. It's just not worth it. Like the egg is not worth eating to feel what I feel. And it usually lasts about 24 to 48 hours, depending on how much I've had that's had eggs in it or how much eggs I've had. So. There is a fly in here. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to kind of give you a recap on that blood work. Everything else looked good. Um, another thing that I try to look at on my blood work are my electrolytes. So my magnesium, potassium, and sodium. I try to make sure I I salt my food and I feel like I get enough uh, enough sodium in. So I don't I don't feel to be struggling in those areas. And my numbers came back good. There's a couple of times where I've just felt like I needed more energy and a lot of times I'll just take an electrolyte um, little packet that has magnesium, sodium, and potassium in it. But I eat probably one whole avocado a day, so I know I'm getting my potassium there and I eat spinach and so I know I'm getting my, my magnesium and potassium there also. Um, and then sodium, I just... I. I season and I salt my food. I've been doing these dry rubs on my meat lately just because I'm finding out that there is so many seasonings that have dextrose, sugar, cornstarch in it for anti-caking. I mean, it's crazy what they're putting in seasonings. And so I've started making my own dry rubs, curry rubs. I have a taco seasoning rub um, that I do. And um, I'm hoping to get a new little gadget where I can actually move out of this office that I'm in and do more of my cooking stuff because that's really where my passion is. That's what I love to, to show. That's what I love to do is more of my recipes and cooking and stuff. But I just wanted to give you an update on the blood work. And um, 
once again, if you like my channel and you have a comment or something that you'd like to, to leave, please feel free to, but subscribe to my channel and, um, and yeah, I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.